about tonight's camp out under the stars. Trust me, you don't want to miss this opportunity to witness an actual meteor. Will we be able to see it with the naked eye? Naked. <laughs> naked. <laughs> Quick question. Is the meteor gonna crash into land, creating a dust cloud that blots out the sun so we freeze to death? Or will it slam into water, turning our oceans to steam so we cook like a bag of frozen Brussels sprouts? Better be the first one. I hate Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Neither. This meteor will be passing harmlessly by the Earth. Oh, sure. That's what all the scientists say. You have nothing to worry about. As you can see, the trajectory of the meteor will carry it past Earth at a distance of well over... Oh. That's it. We're doomed. <laughs> Luckily, I'm prepared for such an event. I've made a bucket list comprised of all the things I want to do before death rains down from above. This is your bucket list? It only has one thing on it. Make a bucket list. Well, it looks like I have my work cut out for me. First, I gotta get a pen. Oh, I should put that on my bucket list. <laughs> but I'll need a pen. Why'd you even get out of the car if you weren't going to help me? <laughs> to watch this. <laughs> it's even funnier up close. You call that a telescope? It's more like a micro... telescope. Slap. It's not like you to show up for a school event. Or school. I'm not here for your lame camp out. This is where I always come to observe the majestic tapestry that is our solar system. Oh, that comet just punched Pluto in the face. You're into astrology? Astronomy happens to be a hobby of mine. I enjoy observing the universe. Wow. Nice telescope. Can I just, uh... Mm. There are three things that I never share with anybody. My telescope, my views on modern religion, and straws. This is it? Where is everybody? I don't know. I was expecting way more people. I mean, who wouldn't want to spend the night learning about the wonders of space? It's just as much fun as a regular science class, only way longer. <laughs> Why are you still here? I'm enjoying the view. Did you know Hutch Anderson does arm curls with his blinds up? <laughs> okay. Who wants to get their learn on? Hey there, people. <laughs> Mr. Tater, what are you doing here? Well, I heard about your little camp out, and I figured you needed adult supervision. Wait, I thought I was supervising. I am a teacher, after all. You're also 14. This is a job for a responsible adult. Okay, people, water balloon fight in 20 minutes. <laughs> We're here to witness a major astronomical event, not play summer camp. I know, but mommy never let me go to camp. Oh, sure, we set up a tent in the attic and dress up my, her porcelain dolls in khaki shorts and have a tug of war, but it was so unfair. There were like, and of them. You, you know, campfires aren't allowed in the quad. Bummer, right? Luckily, I brought the next best thing, an electric fireplace. Well, Hutch just lowered his blinds, so I'm out of here. Oh. Wait, uh, on your way through the school, would you mind plugging this in? <laughs> Off you go. Therefore, 
One should be able to measure the size of a meteor by examining the ratio of two isotopes of osmium, osmium-187 and osmium-189. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> it's osmium-188. <laughs> Yeah, can we see the meteor already? <laughs> It'll be hours before we can see it. Then why are we here? Ah, the age-old question. Too bad I don't share my views on modern religion. <laughs> and don't even think about asking to share my straw. <laughs> I'll tell you why we're here. For a classic campfire sing-along. Come on, everybody. The fire's almost plugged in. <laughs> Oh, good. It's off. Mr. Tater wants that plugged in. Ah! I'm not here. In middle of something. Well, I'm trying to leave. Ah! I could do this all night. Looks like it's just you and me, Slab. <laughs> you guys with stars in our eyes and the solar system coursing through our... Where are you going? Away from you. Either that or tear out your vocal cords. You need me to hold the door for you? <laughs> there. Now I can get back to work. Dang, do you have a horse in there? <laughs> Was that a horse nay or are you answering my question in the negative with the archaic form of no, nay? <laughs> Dang, did you put on metal shoes to run away from me to avoid answering my question? Nay, I'm just playing a jousting video game. Lord of the Rings. How do you play? I must defeat Red Knight to impress King and win hand of princess. Ew! Why would you want the hand of a princess? <laughs> because it attached to rest of princess. <laughs> Wait. Why all the question? Did Red Knight send you? <laughs> Not today, Sir Demon! That's all there is to it. Nay! It takes precision timing, perfect hand-eye coordination, and... 
Winner, Red Knight. That was easy. Well, see ya. Not so fast. <laughs> well, see ya. Hey, everyone. Exciting news. The meteor is now close enough to see through the telescope, and it looks spectacular. Sorry, I guess the wonders of the universe are more appealing than a burnt meat tube on a stick. The porcelain dolls never criticized my cooking. Except for that one curly-haired harpy with the cracks in her face. Even then, I knew her anger wasn't aimed at me, but at her hideous disfigurement. All I see is a tiny little dot of light. That's the meteor. Isn't it magnificent? Remember this moment. So one day you can tell our kids where you were on this most magical of nights. Did you say our kids? Yes. Call me a dreamer, but I always assumed that someday you and I would open a petting zoo together, strictly as business partners, in which, among other animals, we would have baby goats. Our kids. Well, show me a business plan and we'll talk about it. I will do that. Hey, gang. It's time to prank the loner who doesn't fit in with the cool kids. Unfortunately, Mr. Young here is technically a teacher, so... <laughs> Let's go smear peanut butter inside someone else's sleeping bag. <laughs> Not you guys, too. Fill sleeping bag with peanut butter. What can I do? Uh, Echo, a prank? You? What would our kids say? Other than... Meh. No offense, but your space rock is kind of boring. We'll see about that. Psst. Mr. Young, I want in. You don't even know what I'm planning. Sure I do. You're opening a petting zoo. I want in. I can't wait to see what our kids look like. Peanut butter. Excellent work, campers. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's my tent. <laughs> Listen up, everyone. It seems the meteor has just changed its trajectory and is now on a collision course with Earth! <gasps> everyone, follow me to the telescope. I mean, what could be more enticing than a front row seat to mankind's extinction? Yeah, Who wants s'mores? <laughs> Okay, King's Feast over. How was your turkey race? A little dry. Too bad. Corn very sweet. Much like a victory. Back to battle. Huzzah! Oh, wait. A bit of corn stuck in my teeth. Snob, I'm so glad you decided to join us. I decided to join the s'mores. Not you. When they're gone, so am I. Everyone, come quick. Ugh, don't listen to him. Have some more s'mores. <laughs> oh, I just got it. Some more. <laughs> listen, the meteor is just hiding the true threat. Behind it is an alien spaceship. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> They're going to be disappointed when they get here, and Earth's already been destroyed by the very same meteor they're hiding behind. <laughs> Enjoy something ironic. 
check? <laughs> Obviously, they come from a distant galaxy where a civil war has rendered their planet uninhabitable. So they've traveled through space looking for a planet with a similar atmosphere in order to enslave the indigenous people. What? Oh. Wait a minute. That's the plot of like 50 science fiction movies. Independence Day, Battlefield Earth, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Oh, don't talk to me about Santa Claus. Year after year, I ask him for camping equipment, but what does he bring me? Another porcelain doll. Don't you see what's going on? Mr. Young made up the story to scare us. He probably made up the part about the meteor heading for Earth, too. <laughs> Mr. Young. That's a great idea. We can sit around the campfire telling scary stories. And they finally found the body in the general store. <gasps> and the post office. <gasps> and the barbershop. <gasps> Except for the face. <laughs> they never found the face. <gasps> OK, who's next? <laughs> it's him. It's the face stealer. Take the children's faces. They're smooth and wrinkle free. <laughs> Okay, I forgot about the peanut butter. <laughs> this is exactly what mommy said would happen. I'm coming, mommy. I'm coming. Who's there? An alien. Adam was right. We're under attack. Let me handle this. Glar back to Chagra! You speak Klingon? Actually, I'm fluent in 12 alien languages, including Wookiee, Tribble, Melmakian, and Navi. Greetings, Earthlings. Oh, it speaks English. Do you know that one? I have journeyed from the stars with a single purpose, to teach you about science and astronomy, specifically meteors and their unique metallurgical properties. <laughs> Will you join me on this path to discovery? What do you think? He seems harmless enough. Boring, but harmless. Harmless? Did you see how those Martians treated poor Santa? No. I come in peace. That's alien code for conquer Earth and use humans as a power source. Get him! Wait, no, I'm really just, no, no, I'm really just, ah! He's awake. Then it's time. To let me go? No, for the alien autopsy. <sighs> now hold open his jaw so we can remove his tongue. <laughs> It's me, Adam! I think it's just that its name is Adam. That's Adam's name. <laughs> He'd be proud of us for doing a dissection. Too bad he's not here. Uh, seriously, it's me, Adam. Derby, this is your costume. I got out of your locker. You wore it for Halloween three years in a row. Wow, you've really done your research. I'm impressed, strange visitor. Enough talk. Time to cut open this creature's chest. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why are we all laughing? It's worse than we thought. They can remove their skin and look like us. Very funny. You got me. <laughs> you should have seen the fear in your eyes. Classic. <laughs> OK. Even I have to admit that was more exciting than watching a hunk of rock float harmlessly through space. <laughs> Sweet Martian magma. Meteor really has changed course. It's heading right for us. Let me see. Oh, no. There must be some mistake. I'll clear this up. Oh, interesting. It is headed right for us. It's headed right for us! <laughs> Bet you all wish you had a bucket list now. I don't need one. There's only one thing I want to do before it's too late. Echo, I love. I bet he was going to say s'mores. I mean, who 
doesn't love s'mores? I guess the meteor mostly burned up in Earth's atmosphere. Oh. Lucky for Mr. Young. If it was any bigger, it would have caved his head in like a cantaloupe and splattered his brains everywhere. Although on the plus side, it would have made a great story to tell at our next campfire. I gotta say, you scare me a little. <laughs> You in trouble now? That's what you said six hours ago. Winner, Red Knight. Best 351 out of 700? You're on. Game over. Oh no. We max out all the game rebel. Now how we decide who is true? Roll to the rinse. <laughs> I have an idea. Yeah, I don't even want to know. <laughs> ha! I win! Okay. <laughs>